Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover Satisfaction Survey Data Tables Troubleshooting Tips. A few months ago, I created the video shown on the right called Putting It All Together Satisfaction Survey Data Tables. It's one of the most popular videos on YouTube. A lot of people said that they've used the technique in their own work, but sometimes um, it's very easy to run into some problems with this process. So I'm going to show you one of the most common problems and how to fix it. It's very, very easy. So here's a data set that a YouTube user sent me, um, Helena Nguyen. She had this survey data on a five point scale from strongly agree to strongly disagree. And there were four different questions on this survey. So let's scroll to the bottom and check out the calculations that she made. She calculated the ends, the blanks, and added them up to make sure that the sum sounded correct. Then she used the count if formula to find how many people responded to each of those categories. So for example, we can see that 12 people selected strongly agree here. She emailed me because she was getting a zero in this neutral category, um, even though she knew that that was incorrect. She knew that there were a few neutrals there. So the very first thing that I did um, was I checked out the neutrals. Here's one right here. And as I suspected, there was an extra space at the end of the word. This sometimes happens when you download your data from SurveyMonkey or Zoomerang or some other survey software. There's this random space. So all you have to do is delete it. So just hit, hit the backspace key, press enter. And now you can see that instead of a zero, there's a one here. Let's scroll down and look at the percentages that automatically um, adds up down there and shows that 2% of the respondents selected the neutral category. So there you go, some very easy troubleshooting when you're creating your own satisfaction survey data tables. Thank you.